Hello and welcome to Blue Zone. In this video we're going to talk about the Laser Maverick. This weapon is very popular because it's easy to uh, aim at something with the FLIR and simply designate and fire. Now if you've watched my video on ground targeting you already know most of the information in this video. Uh, also if you've watched the body, laz uh, body lazing video then you will know uh, what the, the portion of the LST that I'm going to talk about means. So let's get started. First and first, the objectives. We're going to learn how to fire a Maverick, which is a laser guided missile. We're going to learn how to get the weapons, uh, the weapon in parameters before you fire so it's accurate. Why do we care? Knowing how to deploy a missile will ensure you hit your target each and every time and where would you use it on a stationary and moving targets now the Maverick itself is a missile it has a range of approximately 12 nautical miles and that will vary with the altitude it's a laser guided missile uh, missile therefore you need the targeting pod to provide the lasing now the Maverick itself has uh, an actual la laser track so it will pick up a laser whether it's from your own ship or from somebody else's uh, uh, airplane as long as they have the same laser code so here's some need to know it requires a laser as we already said you need a targeting pod you also need 30 second warm up the weapon when you first select it will require 30 second ti uh, timer to elapse before you can fire the weapon. Now you can start the timer by se uh, selecting the stores even if you don't have a, a uh, master arm on or the air to ground on. You need to uncage your weapon to launch it. When you uncage your weapon it causes it to search for the laser with the code that's uh, entered and we'll look at that. You have a 15 degree launch constraint meaning that you have to have the the missile pointing within 15 degrees of the line of sight of the Maverick but and you have 20 degrees lock limit which means that beyond 20 degrees you'll lose lock on that weapon with that weapon and it requires master arm air to ground mode on to launch and I, I stress here to launch, not necessarily to uh, warm it up. And it can be launched at a buddy lays target. So if your buddy is lazing a target, you put the same code that he is lazing with, and your weapon will be able to pick it up and launch on the desi designated target. Let's take a look at the symbology. Now, when you first uh, select the Maverick, you will be given an indication of hold under the MAV. You see, you'll see MAV is boxed. And the timing starts with 30 seconds. Now, below the word timing, you see station 9. That's the station that's actually currently selected with the Maverick. And below that, you see a code 2101. This is the laser code that the Maverick will be looking for to lock into. The X itself represents the actual uh, laser search uh, uh, queue or lasers it represents that it has not found any laser or locked into any laser now on the right you're going to see the weapon is caged so it's pointing uh, forward and it's not actually uh, looking for a laser at this point on the right you will see a step button the step button here essentially allows you to step between all the different maps that you would have the different Mavericks so in this case we got station 9 then we'll go to the next station and the next and we'll see that in the play now below that you have code 2101 UFC so if you click the button next to UFC upfront control it will bring up a, sc a, uh, a screen where you can enter a new laser code so you would be entering a laser code for your uh, if you're buddy lasing so whoever is lazing would give you his code, you enter the code, and then your Mavic will be able to find that code once you uncage the weapon. 
and return simply returns you to the weapon store. Now, while you are in that state, uh, you will notice that the Maverick is crossed because it's not ready yet in the HUD. And your laser is also crossed because it's not uh, lasing a target. You need to acquire a target in order to be able to laser it. Now, it stands to reason that your laser LTDR must be turned on in order to laser target. And you'll need assistance of the floor. Now this is the FLIR with no target designated and you see that we're flying towards a some sort of a bullseye here in a range. So the laser is not actually firing and it's ground stabilized. In other words, it's following your plane wherever angle that you gave it, which was 0.8 and minus 3.9. Again, that is in our uh, ground, ground uh, targeting video. So that's the representation that you get before you're ready to fire the weapon. Now once you uncage a weapon, then you see, at first you will see an X that scans through this uh, screen here. Once it finds the laser and it locks into the laser, you will be presented with a square, meaning that it has locked onto a laser. So in order to achieve this you need to uncage a weapon which is control U. Now nothing else has changed and uh, nothing else is different here on the screen except that you see that Maverick is ready and the station 9 is no longer crossed. It shows that it's uncaged instead of caged and in this case here we happen to be in range. So you could fire the weapon. The goal here is for you to try to keep this square here near the center to give the best chance of the Maverick to reach its target. Now designation on the screen, once you designate a target and the Maverick has locked onto it, you see this is the symbology you will get. Now you see that the, you get an indication that Maverick is locked and 72 seconds to reach a target the air to ground ranging is turned on so you get your range information which is 5.1 nautical mile to the target and your weapon is in range you see here that the laser is actually firing the uh, laser is firing because it's in this case here you would see the LT, LTD slash R flashing indicating that the laser is firing and of course you have your target designated here Now if we look at the FLIR, now the FLIR is actually locked on to a target. So you get information about the target itself here. And the same as you had on the HUD, it's in range and there's a, there's a target's uh, range. And the code is the same here. And that's, that's simply the information you get. So you could actually manipulate the uh, FLIR at this point here and readjust your aim and if you watch it, the, uh, ground is, uh, the ground targeting, you'll know how to zoom in and uh, do all that. So now let's take a look at launching a Maverick in the plane and see how it reacts. Now that we are in the plane, let's take a look at uh, the setup that we have. So you see that I have some Mavericks loaded up. I have brought up the screen up front so you can see uh, what I'm talking about. So you see it says that uh, we're in a safe condition. My arm switch, master arm switch is off and I don't have any air to ground selected. And my laser is off. And as I indicated during our little theory part, you can actually select your weapon and it starts the 30 second countdown. Now in order to uh, fire the Maverick, it requires a laser designation. Now it can be your own or somebody else's designation on your behalf doing buddy lasing as I indicated in one of my videos. So in this case here we're going to lase our own. But let's see what happens. So now the Maverick is actually warming up and all your Mavericks are going to be ready to go once we 
engage the master arm and what have you, providing we have a target. So let's check the indication here. So at this point, I have these indications here. The Maverick is caged. If I go to the Maverick display, you see my code here. And we've already talked about the switches and how to change the code. Uh, so if I wanted to change the code and I select UFC, in my UFC I can put a, n a new code, 2202 for example, and hit enter and it will switch. And it's not immediate. It switches and then it gets a new code. So now it's watching for this code to lock onto. Now that's the Maverick display page. Now in order to uh, laser target, we need to have laser uh, target designator and ranging turned on. So let's arm that. Now that has been armed and it's ready to fire at a target once we have it uh, set up. So let's go and turn on our flare so we can do some targeting. Now in the flare you see there's no indication other than the LTD. If you look at the LTD here, the LTD is crossed off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to arm our plane and be ready to use a Maverick. So now you'll see the indication has changed. In the HUD you see Maverick is now showing as available but it's crossed off. That's because we're not targeting anything. So let's say that I target a waypoint. So I will set that I would designate a waypoint down here on my HSI. This waypoint at TL designates the target. So what we expect to happen is this flur is going to slave to my waypoint and the flur that is sorry the uh, Maverick display here will try it will uncage and try to find the laser so let's see what happens so I'll designate the target so now you, as you can see here the laser is firing at a target you have an it still cannot fire it says 99 TTMR that is time to maximum range so what that means is that once you reach around 12 miles from your target this time to maximum range should be around zero, meaning that you're in range. Now in this case here we're a long ways away, but around 20 miles it will start counting down for you. And if you look also in the D left EDI, pretty much the same information. Now let's take a look at the uh, FLIR display and see what looks different in the FLIR display. You see the laser is lasing even though it's that far you have the same uh, TTMR indication you do have your target information here the exact coordinates and you can use that information if you've uh, watched my uh, GPS coordinates video you know how to translate those and put them into different uh, usage and we have the indication of the target now I'm assuming you've already seen my video on ground targeting so I'm not going to go through the FLIR and how to target. We've covered that already in that video. I, I encourage you to watch it. So now we will get, uh, we will undesignate the target and we'll go and track an actual target and uh, fire a missile. But now one last thing I want to point out. If you notice here, there's an X. So it's saying that I will start searching, I'm not searching yet. When this X turns into a block, that means that it locked on to a designated target. So if somebody was body lasing for you with this code, then your your tracker would find it, provided we're not uh, locked on to another target like we are now. We are going to attack a cruiser uh, that is cruising the bay near the uh, their range. Uh, this is a moving target courtesy of uh, CCP from FSX at War. If you haven't seen my video on CCP it's a great tool to have in your toolbox to practice and create targets. So you see on my uh, DDI here I have the uh, C target 
on the left here so let's say that uh, I was to uncage so let me uh, castle over which is control left and it puts a diamond priority in the DDI and if I press control U to uncage you see that my Maverick is uncaged and it's looking for a target designator now if I was to lock onto this target then my Maverick would automatically uncage and it will start lazing that target and that's what we're going to do so let's put the TDC into this side here by doing a castle right which is control right on your keyboard now I have them in priority I can use my TDC cursor and actually select the target and if you watch my targeting video this should be not be new to you so designate would enter now the target is designated and it's actually not moving yet so we're going to give it a chance that it should move by the time we we get there it'll start moving in a couple of minutes so now let's look at the symbology I am firing, if you look at my HUD, I am firing my ra my laser this is my carrot that indicates where I have to travel to go towards my target and now I'm flying towards my target and the target is not yet moving but I, st I have a a TTMR which is an indication that uh, time to maximum range as long as it's 99 we're way outside we should we will probably see this start changing around the 20 mile mark or tell us uh, when we'll get in range now if we switch to FLIR we should be able to see our target because it's slave to FLIR now the target's too far for us to see we could narrow and zoom but uh, let's uh, just uh, wait it out for a little bit here now you see on the left EDI the Maverick acquired the target so you see a block here that means it's uh, locked with the Maverick now you also see the diamond has kind of a uh, pattern on top of where we had the diamond before which indicates it's locked to that target now this circle is 15 degrees up and down so we're currently about uh, 6 or 7 degrees down from the target so in order to get the best chance for the Maverick to hit the target we try to put the square in the center the 20 degree mark is the limit if you go beyond that you will lose it lock on your target now take a look at the TTMR that indicates that the time to maximum range or in other words when we will become in range is 48 seconds away and we can launch once we're at that distance so now my target started moving slowly and that's what I was looking at on the other screen so I apologize that's why the, the sound stopped for a second here so now in 10 seconds it shows Maverick is locked with the radar and in 5 seconds 4 I should, be, I should be in range I am now in range the laser is firing in the case I am in range at this point all I have to do is essentially just uh, put the square in the center and then launch my Maverick rifle so now you see that the rifle is going up and we should see the uh, cruiser get destroyed now the laser indication that you're seeing here is indicating how long it's going to take that it's going to be able to laze before we lose it
and the target just got hit. So let's launch another one. Rifle. And that should be another hit. And that's all there is to that. And now that ship is going to sink. Now I put the uh, the labels on so you could see uh, everything that's going on and where it goes. But essentially, that's uh, that's an option that you can turn on, and it helps you see. So see how I lost uh, visibility on the target with the 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 flare, and therefore it goes into a mask. So that's all there is to launching Maverick. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like my video, uh, please subscribe and uh, hit like. If you have any questions or comments, please f feel free to leave me something to, and uh, I will do my best to answer your question. Thank you very much for watching and uh, happy raffling. Later.